So the next part is gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna clean this line up a little bit. I'm not great with metal shears and they're kind of hard to get curves out of. So what I'm gonna do is lay it up where I want it to go. I know I want it to be about right here. And then wherever it's touching, I'm gonna kind of make note of and cut that, cut that part out a little bit. Charge Lightning McQueen? Yes. So you're running out of battery? Yes. Okay. All right, I think that is our shape. You like that? Yes. I will. Okay. You and Daddy get Lightning McQueen set up and I'll go get our swimsuits, okay? We gotta let it charge while you go swim. All right, so this is the dad wagon, and this build has basically been focused around building a family-friendly, very cool car that you could carry your kids around in, drive every single day, drop them off at school, all that cool stuff. So as a result of that, we don't want any children cutting their hands or shins or arms open on very sharp metal. So I got this. It's a door edge trim. You get it at like an auto zone or anywhere like that, kind of an auto parts place. And it's just a rubber trim. It's got glue inside of it. We're going to stick it on the edge of all this stuff so that it's all very nice and rounded. I think it'll look good. It'll kind of provide a gasket between this and the car so it won't mess up the paint. And it's also going to keep kids from cutting themselves open on it when they are past. I'm actually really happy with how these came out. These look really good with the edge trim on them. They really, it looks like a little like rolled lip and it matches the black paint really well. So I definitely recommend this. It looks awesome. All right, let's take them to the car. All right, you could very easily buy some right angle brackets to attach all of this to the bumper. I did it when I went to the store and for the sake of having to make another trip, I'm gonna make my own out of some scrap metal from the plate that I originally started with. All right, so I attached two of my right angle brackets to the first uh, canard, canard. Somebody tell me how to say that word, because I have no idea. And uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and line this up right there, and then I'll drill my holes. I think I'll probably mount these two. I'm gonna put a mount right here to mount it to this lip down here. Um, and then that should be all of my mounts. If I, I have an extra bracket, just in case I need to put one in here somewhere to kind of support the middle of it. But I'm thinking with all of that mounted, we should be okay. But we'll see. Cool. Alright, so I just got the driver's side set up with all of its brackets. I'm going to throw it on real quick, and then we can see what this thing looks like all put together.
All right, guys, that is it. The canards are done, and I think they look really, really nuts. I'm really excited about how they came out. I love that they're boxed in. That was the original goal, was to make kind of box ones, but uh, I kind of went with this Rocket Bunny style instead, and I decided to go ahead and make a little end plate on the edge of them. And I think it came out really, really cool. We'll use this end plate to display some sort of decal, like a build decal or something like that, later on down the road. But overall, I am super stoked on these. Check them out. All right, so that plus the stuff that I 3D printed that's gonna be on the episode Sunday are the last things that I have to fabricate for this car. So everything fabrication-wise is done, which means we get to start finishing everything. I mean, finishing like getting it on the road, getting it liveried up, and getting it given away. It's very, very close. It's happening very soon. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you will stay up to date on everything that's going on with this build. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well if you wanna get notifications when the videos come up. Otherwise. You won't see them when they pop up. This build's gonna be given away very soon. It's gonna be really awesome. Make sure you check back Sunday at 10 a.m. CST. That's when I'm gonna show you what I 3D printed. It's very cool. I think you guys are gonna love it. See ya.